major fast food chain is the latest company to weigh in on a conversation about ageism and women going gray in the workplace. The topic has become a lightning rod in this country since Lisa Laflamme announced her contract was ended and she would no longer be chief anchor and senior editor at CTV News. CTV's Heather Wright has our report. Women with gray hair are being edged out of the workplace begins this new campaign from Dove, urging women to keep the gray. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit is also joining in, in support of women aging confidently on their own terms. It's advice Wendy's Canada took this morning, changing its iconic locks on its Twitter photo from red to gray using the hashtag Lisa Laflamme. Hello everyone. These campaigns come on the heels of Lisa Laflamme's announcement on social media last week that her contract was ended. I was blindsided. Bell Media, the parent company of CTV, indicated the move was a business decision. That decision has led to many discussions about hair, age and gender in the workplace. They're using their products to make a statement. Richard Powers is a professor at the University of Toronto and says Dove may have already had something in the works, but the timing of this campaign capitalizes on a conversation happening across the country. It's bringing up the same types of questions that other companies. They are really moving the discussion forward on this particular social issue. For their part, Dove and its parent company Unilever won't comment on the controversy, only the dialogue it has sparked. As Dove, we saw there was a lot of discussion happening around ageism right now, and we really wanted to harness that energy and conversation for good. That dialogue continues to create headlines, from opinion pieces to editorial cartoons. Stories have been published in the Washington Post, along with papers in the UK and Italy. Nancy Regan is a former host with CTV Atlantic and went gray years ago. I don't think anyone ever mentioned my male co-host's hair. And if I could tell you the number of comments that the switchboard got and that I got, people commented way more often on my hair than they did on content. It's a double standard, experts say, that extends far beyond media. There's a whole lot more room for men to age and to sort of fit into that um, realm of aging naturally and looking distinguished, whereas as women are aging, they are starting starting to look a little tired or a little worn, a little weathered. As part of this campaign, Dove Canada is donating $100,000 to Catalyst, a nonprofit working to advance women in the workplace. Bell Media says it regrets the way news of Lisa Laflamme's departure was communicated and takes matters of discrimination very seriously. An internal review is underway. Sandy. Okay, Heather, thank you.